Hey, what's up everyone? So today I am going to solve the number one question that is on every designer's mind right now. What tool should I use? Photoshop, Sketch, Figma, XD, Illustrator. What is it? What should I pick? I'm surprised it's such a big point of contention. While starting out, when you read opinions online, it can be very easy to get sort of bogged down and not be able to make a decision over what tool is best. Because you're just starting out, you don't want to learn the wrong thing. And I can understand why it might be something that people spend time over. Uh, but hopefully in this video, I'm going to put an end to this debate finally. So I'm going to be talking about all five of these. Photoshop, Illustrator, Sketch, Figma and XD. So pre-2010, right? Every single designer that was making interfaces was using Photoshop. And Photoshop is an extremely powerful tool. You can make a lot of different types of things with it. But for UI design, there was something missing. Like it could do everything, but it wasn't the best experience possible. And sometime between 2010 and 2012, there was a new entrant in the market. And this was Sketch. Sketch was a Mac app for screen based design. And what it did was it took a small slice of Photoshop which was just for UI design and made it really, really good. Now, just switching from Photoshop to Sketch would make your productivity go up two to three X. Everybody moved to Sketch and Adobe was losing out on market share. Um, people before this were using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, but again, neither of these are UI design tools. For the next few years from 2012, from 2010 actually, so that's when Sketch came out, to 2015 for five years sketch took over the whole market in 2016 adobe released xd and xd was their way to play catch up and get back the market that they had lost since 2016 it's been two more years and xd has slowly been adding features and trying to catch up to sketch but in all of this time there was a new entrant that had been around for about six years sometime around the same time that sketch started that had a completely different thesis on what design tools should be like and this tool was figma figma is an online multiplayer design tool which means multiple people can work on the same file at the same time what this also meant since it was web-based was you could use figma on any computer unlike sketch which was only on max today if we look at the scene Nobody uses Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, so those are out. Adobe XD, the reason it's picking up a lot and the reason you hear so much about it is because Adobe is heavily investing in marketing and to get back the market, Adobe is giving XD for free. So anybody, any organization that is using um, Adobe's Creative Cloud license gets XD for free. Sketch is limited to Mac, but Figma is where it's at. So. Design teams at Microsoft, Uber, the biggest companies in the world are switching to Figma. And the reason they're doing this is because Figma is a collaborative design tool. With something like Sketch or even XD, you're working with a file-based system where you're creating these files, .sketch files, .xd files, and you're constantly syncing this, sending files across, syncing this with Dropbox to other users, to developers, product managers, designers on your team. With Figma, it's all account based. So you just log in and all your files are here. Using this, you can actually collaborate with designers, with developers in real time. So people can leave comments as you're designing, no matter whether they're product designers, people on the marketing team, any team, 100% transparency and visibility. Which is why my bet is that over the next five years, the same way people migrated from Photoshop and Illustrator to Sketch, everybody's gonna migrate from Sketch Figma and XD is going to be number two in the market. XD is going to catch up since it is also available on Windows and Mac, which gives Sketch a disadvantage, but uh, that's what it is. So now let me actually dive into some of these tools. I'm going to go on their websites and talk about some of their main features and what are the things that you will need. I'm going to start with looking at Sketch. If you don't have a Mac, you can totally skip over this entire part because Sketch only works on Macs. I've been using Sketch. So I started with Photoshop, but I switched sometime in 2012 and I've used it for maybe like till six months ago, I was using Sketch. Now Sketch is extremely powerful. It has a lot of features and it was the industry standard till just a while ago. The good parts about Sketch, it has a lot of plugin support. There's developers that are building apps on top of Sketch. A lot of the features that you see here are 
pretty much standard across all UI tools now. So prototyping, all three of them have it. Collaboration, they all have some version of collaboration. Sketch has this thing called cloud. So Sketch, it costs about $99 per year. Um, it is a perpetual license, but to get updates, you need to keep getting new licenses after every year. So the license grants you updates only for a single year. The second I'm gonna talk about is XD. Now XD, Adobe is giving it away for free to all Creative Cloud members because they are trying to play catch up, as I mentioned earlier. XD has added a lot of features since its launch in 2016. And you can see a lot of them here. Um, it does have integrations as well, which pretty much standard across all three. But XD misses a few basic things. So for example, when you're designing, let me open my Figma file right here. Just things like pages, for example. Now this is something that you absolutely need for huge files or uh, design systems. When you're doing things like that, XD is not gonna support it. So pick XD if you're looking for a free tool to start with. If you're working in a team, you would better be suited to Figma. And don't worry about learning curve. All three of them are pretty easy to learn. It takes the same amount of time. The third I'm gonna talk about is, of course, my favorite, Figma. Figma is has been around for about six years now, but it's only recently that it's gotten ready for production. It's one of the most powerful tools for design. Especially what's good about Figma is a lot of the things that Sketch offers as plugins. So you have to use a lot of third-party apps if you're working with a complicated workflow. Figma has it all built into this. So uh, prototyping, of course, Sketch has basic prototyping, so does XD and Figma, but handoff working with developers. Figma has a really good version of that. Collaboration, like real-time collaboration. You can watch people move things around, uh, just like this over here. Figma is the only tool that offers this. And in terms of feature parity, it beats Sketch, it beats XD. And in terms of pricing, it's about the same as Sketch, but it has a free tier, which is free for individuals, where you can collaborate with up to two members with three projects. And this is actually perfect as well. You can pretty much use it for free because when you get done with the project, you can just archive it. With these three in mind, my suggestion would be to go with Figma. It's the tool of the future. Everybody's moving to it. People are still gonna use XD, uh, but you might find a lot of things missing as you scale up. And at some point you will have to make the switch to Figma. Unless XD picks up its pace really fast, which no doubt they will. I don't know how fast that's gonna be though. XD and Figma both work on Mac and Windows. If you're using something like a Chromebook, uh, Figma will work on that, but XD will not. So, how do I solve this debate for you? What should you pick? Now, here's the simple answer. There are three options. You have XD, Figma, and Sketch. Pick any one of these and become an expert at it and forget about the other two. Each tool is pretty similar. So even if you learn one, you can easily within 10 minutes switch to another tool but if you're starting out in design right now the best bet that you can take is to just pick one of these forget about all other tools and just become an expert at it and the reason i stress tools rather than process at this point you might be thinking if you're from a traditional design background how the hell does it matter why are you talking about tools right now when you haven't even covered things like theory you know i'm doing this as part of a full design ui ux course and I'm starting out with tools. The reason for that is knowing a tool really well gives you a playground to try out ideas. So when you read about theory, when you read about user experience, having a playground which is a design tool can really help you understand the nuances, the things that you're learning and apply them immediately. Without this, you would just be learning about theory and you wouldn't really be able to apply it to anything till you get used to the tool. So hopefully this video clears up a lot of the questions you have about tools. Um, if you leave stuff in the comments, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of debate. People are loyal to the tools that they use. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.